Today our presentation is on hair restoration therapy using platelet-rich plasma, called PRP for short, and microneedling. Let's begin. Androgenic alopecia, hair loss, affects nearly 80% of men at some point in their lifetime. 50% of these men will see hair loss by age 50. But men are not alone. Hair loss will affect up to 40% of women at some stage in their lives. Currently, there are two FDA-approved drug therapies for the treatment of hair loss. They are topical minoxidil and oral finasteride. So many ask, what is androgenic alopecia? Well, it's the most common hair loss disorder, especially in men. It's due to shortened antigen phase of hair growth. The antigen stage is the growth stage of the hair. On the scalp area, this stage can last from two to seven years in most people depending mostly on their genetics, but it can also be influenced by their diet as well as other overall wellness factors. A shortened antigen stage leads to smaller hair follicle size and less blood flow and nutrients reaching the hair follicle, starving the hair follicle from healthy nutrients. Currently available treatments for hair loss in the United States include topical minoxidil, oral finasteride, hair transplant surgery, platelet-rich plasma, and microneedling. All of these therapies have been shown to slow and in some cases reverse hair loss. Minoxidil was first discovered and used as an orally administered hypertension medication. Unfortunately, in some patients, primarily women, it caused excessive hair growth. Because of this, researchers began testing and developing topical solutions targeting male and female pattern hair loss. Minoxidil works by dilating hair follicles, promoting more blood flow, encouraging healthier antigen stage hair growth. Benefits in some include healthier, thicker, longer lasting hair. Finasteride is another drug used for hair loss. It decreases the amount of DHT flowing in the body, which discourages DHT-induced hair loss. Finasteride is also indicated for use by men with enlarged prostate. Unfortunately, side effects with finasteride can be risky since it has been reported to reduce libido in some men. Now let's turn our attention to new, more exciting solutions which can do much more for hair restoration. Platelet-rich plasma and microneedling are cellular-based activation therapies that have only recently become available to the marketplace. These natural cellular-based treatments put your own body's natural healing power to work for you. Next, let's look at the combination procedure. This photo shows us platelet-rich plasma application along with microneedling for stem cell activation. As you can see, the PRP growth factors are in the syringe. During the procedure, the physician will inject these growth factors into the subcutaneous tissue of the scalp. In the other hand, you can see the microneedle autopen which is used to stimulate the body's own natural stem cells. It achieves this by creating microscopic damage to the top layer of skin. The PRP delivers the concentrated growth factors which were taken from the patient's own blood and the autopen microneedling device stimulates the natural stem cell activation. This combination procedure promotes regeneration of hair follicles better than any other procedure known to date. Our next slide shows derma rolling the scalp. It essentially microneedles in a manual process and is something most patients can do at home. Microneedling from an auto pen or derma roller provide similar results, but derma rollers are usually less costly, making them a great option for in-home maintenance. As stated before, this microneedling process creates micro damage to the top layer of the skin, stimulating natural stem cell activation and cellular regeneration. Let's now return back 
to the platelet-rich plasma injection process. Once blood platelets are taken and concentrated into PRP, the following growth factors are activated, which are available for hair regrowth by regenerating the health of the hair follicle. These growth factors are TGF, transforming growth factor, PDGF, platelet-derived growth factor, VEGF, vascular endothelial growth factor, EGF, epidermal growth factor, and interleukin-1. All these growth factors are taken from blood platelets concentrated using an in-clinic centrifuge technique and then delivered to the subcutaneous skin level of the scalp with a small syringe. This stimulates stem cell activation within the bulge area of the hair follicles and can encourage the development of new hair follicles altogether. Now we turn our attention to the randomized placebo-controlled trial conducted at the University of Rome in Italy. This study evaluated 23 men. Approximately half of the men were given platelet-rich plasma and the other half a placebo. Each group received three applications of treatment separated by 30 days. The study included a blinded evaluator as well to avoid subjective bias. Those that received the treatment saw significant improvement. Those who received the placebo did not. Four patients did report some recurring hair loss, but only after 16 months following the last procedure. So, how much improvement did the platelet-rich plasma group see? They saw more than a 36% gain in hair density. That's pretty remarkable only after three treatments, each spread out 30 days apart. So what does the result look like in real life? Well, this is what it looks like. These are the before and after of a 29-year-old patient who underwent the PRP therapy for the study. That's amazing. Anyone suffering from hair loss who can afford three short PRP treatments must investigate this remarkable therapy. Also keep this in mind, this Rome study did not combine microneedling as a supplemental modality. So expect even better results when platelet-rich plasma therapy is combined with microneedling. Next we want to draw your attention to choosing the right team who employ the proper equipment to do your platelet-rich plasma hair rejuvenation therapy. As you know, the medical team is an important part of any procedure. However, when PRP therapy is used, the type of processing equipment used to prepare the growth factors can make all the difference in the world. Why is the equipment and processing of platelets important? Well, research shows that 1.5 million concentrated platelets per microliter are ideal for successful therapies using PRP. If platelet density is too high above this level, then angiogenesis diminishes. Angiogenesis is important in hair follicle regeneration. On the other hand, if platelet concentrations are too low, then not enough growth factors are present to support hair follicle regeneration. But let's not forget microneedling as an important addition to therapy and ongoing maintenance. Microneedling stimulates stem cell activation. It is used to add benefit to standard hair loss PRP therapies. Patients should always microneedle at home once per week following their PRP therapy. Once per week microneedling is ideal. For one, it gives time for stem cell activation, and two, it allows enough time for the tissue to regenerate. One week is enough time to sufficiently allow the skin to heal following microneedling. With that said, let's go ahead and look at the research on microneedling for hair loss. In the literature, there have been a number of studies showing the value of microneedling on skin and hair follicle tissue rejuvenation. The microneedling procedure naturally stimulates stem cell activation as part of the body's normal healing process. So, in 2013, researchers looked at two groups. Group 1 received a combination therapy of minoxidil twice daily 
and microneedling once weekly, while the other group only received minoxidil twice daily. The findings showed microneedling by stimulating stem cell activation enhanced natural growth factors leading to more hair regeneration than the non-microneedling group. The microneedling group showed on average 91.4 more hairs in the 12-week period. The minoxidil only group only saw 22.2 hair increase on average. That was over the same period. The conclusion? Weekly microneedling combined with twice daily topical minoxidil application increased hairs by 91.4 on average after 12 weeks of treatment. And the best part about microneedling is you can do it at home. Health and beauty stores regularly sell microneedling devices for skin and hair uses. Please contact us to discuss which microneedle device is best suited for your particular case. So let's take time now to summarize the complete therapy. The first step is to schedule three platelet-rich plasma sessions at one of our treatment centers. Ideally, they should be separated by 30 days. It is best to have each follow-up session done between 30 and 45 days maximum. Each PRP treatment will be approximately 45 minutes in duration from beginning to end. There is no downtime after PRP therapy, but the injection sites may be a little sore for a day or two following the procedures. This The next step to successful hair follicle rejuvenation is to do weekly ongoing maintenance with a derma roller over the air. This should be done approximately once per week, but not more than once per week. For those of us losing our hair, it's best to think of weekly microneedling as part of a normal hygiene process no different than brushing teeth or showering in the morning. Your physician will also prescribe a topical solution like minoxidil or minoxidil with other medications, which should be applied twice daily. And that's all there is to it. This is the leading medical science to date shown to help slow hair loss and rejuvenate and regenerate hair growth. Anyone who complies with the steps identified above should see hair regeneration. So just a little bit about us. We are the number one medical tourism group in Latin America with treatment centers located in highly ranked medical tourist destinations. Those include Costa Rica, which is ranked number five in the world. Tijuana, Mexico, now ranked number one in North America. We also offer services in Panama City, Panama, which is a global Latin American banking center. In addition, through our relationships, we are expanding rapidly in the U.S., with treatment centers opening soon in the Midwest and Florida. Please go to our website and stay up to date on the treatment centers and therapies we are adding all the time. In addition, we can offer telemedicine consults as well. Our website is antiagemedical.com. That's antiagemedical.com. Our telephone number is 888-458-4325. Again, that number is 888-458-HEAL. Dial extension 1 for program services.